Hello everyone welcome to this series on cultural studies and in this video we are going to discuss the ideas of Roland Barthes introduction Roland Barthes was a prominent french critic whose innovative writings left a lasting impact on literary and cultural studies his career was marked by a continuous evolution of thought exploring the nature of language meaning and culture Barthes's work was characterized by a deep engagement with semiology, structuralism and post-structuralism, making significant contributions to the understanding of how meaning is constructed and deconstructed in various forms of cultural expression. Barthes's academic positions. Barthes's academic career began in earnest in 1960 when he started teaching at the Ecole Pratique des Hautes Etudes in Paris there he offered a seminar under the heading Sociology of Signs Symbols and Representations which highlighted his interest in the ways the signs and symbols shape societal understanding in 1976 he was elected to a chair in literary semiology at the prestigious Collège de France cementing his position as a leading intellectual in the field of semiology and literary theory contributions to various fields barthes's work traversed a wide array of topics and disciplines his contributions to semiology the structural analysis of narrative and the study of specific sign systems such as fashion were particularly influential he redefined literary criticism and provided new readings of particular works and bodies of work including those of Sade, Michelet, Proust and Sollers. Barthes also explored the social use and subjective experience of photographs demonstrating his ability to engage with both high culture and everyday life. His writings and interviews reflected a critical engagement with the culture's given realities. revealing the underlying systems of meaning and signification key works and themes barthes's works such as writing degree 0 1953 dealt explicitly with the social operations of language and the power of institutionalized forms of meaning this book argued that literature is bound by a sociality of language that shapes and constrains its message Mythologies 1957 another seminal work focused on the objects and events of everyday life revealing how they are imbued with mythological meanings that serve to naturalize bourgeois ideology elements of semiology 1964 synthesized the terms and concepts of semiology offering a foundational text for the field in s oblique z 1970 Barthes provided a detailed analysis of Balzac's novella illustrating how narrative and other codes construct a particular direction of reading and coherence of meaning Barthes's theoretical framework Barthes's theoretical framework was grounded in the analysis of sign systems and the processes of signification he was particularly concerned with demystifying the workings of ideology exposing how signs and meanings are produced and manipulated in social communication barthes emphasized the plurality of meanings arguing that language is inherently fluid and open to multiple interpretations this perspective challenged the notion of fixed meanings and highlighted the dynamic and productive nature of signifying systems death of the author and literary criticism One of Barthes's most famous contributions to literary criticism was his essay The Death of the Author 1967 which argued against the traditional author centric interpretation of texts he proposed that the meaning of a text is not determined by the author's intentions but is instead produced by the reader's interactions with the text in On Grand Sign 1963 Barthes applied structural and thematic analysis to Rensselaer's plays using the languages of anthropology and psychoanalysis. Criticism and Truth 1966 defended this interpretive approach 
arguing that there is no impartial system of interpretation and that objectivity is a choice of language institutionally sanctioned as such work to the concept bass's concept of the transition from work to text represents a significant shift in literary theory traditional works of literature bound by fixed interpretations and meanings are contrasted with texts which are open to a multitude of readings and interpretations in s oblique z bass distinguished between readerly texts which impose a particular direction of reading and writerly texts which invite active engagement and the proliferation of meanings this approach breaks down the division between reader and writer emphasizing the performative nature of textual interaction later writings and personal reflections in his later writings bass shifted his focus to more personal and reflective themes the pleasure of the text 1973 explored the concept of pleasure and jouissance reflecting on the cultural enjoyments of language and the radical experiences of textual engagement Roland Barthes by Roland Barthes 1975 presented an autobiographical account through novelistic fragments while A Lover's Discourse 1977 examined the language of love Camera Lucida 1980 delved into the subjective experience of photographs blending analysis with personal biography ethical sensibility and final thoughts Barthes's work culminated in an ethical sensibility that valued the mobility of signs and the enchantment with the signifier. He sought to create spaces of movement and play within the field of meaning, advocating for the demystification and displacement of fixed meanings. Barthes's interest in the marginal, the individual, and the neutral underscored his desire to explore the freedom of language and its potential for plurality literature for bass was a necessary reference point for his exploration representing the experience of freedom that he sought to propose through his critical theoretical and writerly projects legacy and influence roland bass's contributions to semiotics structuralism and literary criticism have left an indelible mark on these fields His work continues to influence contemporary cultural and literary studies, providing tools for analyzing and understanding the processes of signification and the construction of meaning. Bass's emphasis on the plurality of meanings and the dynamic nature of language remains a cornerstone of critical theory, inspiring scholars and critics to engage with texts in innovative and transformative ways. So this was the discussion on the ideas of Roland Barthes. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.